This is an ABC News special report. And good morning, everyone. For those of you that are joining us on Good Morning America and other programs, we're interrupting it right now because we have a special report here with David Muir on Robin Roberts. And unfortunately, we have just confirmed that Elizabeth Taylor has died. She died in the early morning, uh, early hours this morning from congestive heart failure. She was 79 years old. We know this morning that her four children were by her side. She survived, of course, by 10 grandchildren, four great grandchildren at Cedar Sinai mm -hmm. Hospital. They were all uh, around their mother. And we want to turn now to Sharon Alfonsi, who looks back at Elizabeth Taylor's life. I want to be a famous rider. I should like to hunt. Elizabeth Taylor was just 12 years old when she became what some people like right. to call one of the last great movie oh, stars. Hey. The film was National Velvet in 1944. Wouldn't you like to go to America and act in the cinema? Might be fun for us to go and see me doing things in the pictures. She grew to become one of the most beautiful women in Hollywood and at times like one of the steamiest. The she was Maggie in Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Is it any wonder? You know what I feel like? I feel all the time like a cat on a hot tin roof. Then jump off the roof, Maggie, jump off it. By the time she played Cleopatra in 1963, she was one of the most famous women in the world and the highest paid. She oh, made what was a fortune at the time, a million dollars to taunt library. Julius Caesar. Play conqueror all you want, mighty Caesar. As an actress, there was far more to her than beauty. She won the Oscar for Best Actress twice, for Butterfield 8 in 1960. Stop that! And for possibly the role of her life in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf in 1966. All right, George, what do you want? An equal battle, baby, that's all. You'll get it. The passion on screen barely kept pace with her real life. She married seven men. Conrad Hilton, Michael Wilding, Mike Todd, killed in a plane crash, and the singer Eddie Fisher. Her stormy romance with Richard Burton, whom she met on the set of Cleopatra, was a drama all by itself. They married and divorced you know twice. She married U.S. Senator John Warner and finally Larry Fortensky, a construction worker she met in rehab at the Betty Ford Clinic. Her own story arced from storybook She's beginning well, to tragedy, poor health, later using her fame to sell perfume. She also used her influence to raise millions of dollars to fight against AIDS. I call on the U.S. government to lead the charge with the sole intent of finding an HIV vaccine. She was given the Oscar a third time for her humanitarian work. But for all her accomplishments, Elizabeth Taylor will be remembered like this. Film preserves an image, and it preserves Elizabeth Taylor as one of the last great movie stars. Sharon Alfonsi, ABC News. Hollywood beauty inside and such a uh, true legend David and her elegance and, and grace is un unparalleled and as word comes in this morning we mm -hmm. have a statement from uh, her son Michael Wilding who said my mother was an extraordinary woman who lived life to the fullest with great passion humor and love though her loss is devastating to those of us who held her so close and so dear we will always be inspired by her enduring contribution to our world and he adds this in addition to her, her remarkable body of work in film he wants to take note of her brave and relentless advocacy in the fight against HIV AIDS. And so that's why the family's asking in lieu of flowers that contributions be made to the Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation. Again, very passionate in all that she did both on and off screen. And so we're going to return now to regular programming, some parts of the country that is Good Morning America. And there will be a, a complete wrap up tonight on World News with Diane Sawyer. And you can always get the latest anytime at abcnews.com. With David, I'm Robin here in New York. Have a good day, everyone. This has been a special report from ABC News.